Video 11 Cloud Use Cases In this video, we are going to take a look at some cloud use cases, particularly regarding pricing. Use Case 1 My Exchange is Down So far, we talked about availability, durability, and scalability. But what about cost? Is cloud cheaper or more expensive to use than on premise infrastructure? The aim here is to do some calculations on how much it is to provision infrastructure on cloud versus owning it in-house. Let's say you want to have a mail server. Your company's domain is cloudthat.in and you want to send and receive emails for that domain. Most people don't have an exchange server. It's a big pain to maintain and most companies complain about it going down all the time. People prefer a hosted solution like Microsoft Exchange Online or Google Apps. You can't match the availability of Microsoft Exchange Online or Google Apps to an on-premise server. But what about the cost? How much cost would it incur for you to have your own server in your office running Exchange versus Exchange Online? So let's do a price calculation. Let's say you picked up a decent server at $1,500. You start up a backup device at $150. You will also need an IT person. He will require monthly salary of let's say approximately $2,000 to do so. You'll also need good bandwidth. Maybe a couple of lines from different vendors so that if one is down, you can still get emails from the other one. This would come up to let's say approximately $50 a month. Finally, you will need a license from Microsoft Exchange to host the Exchange server in-house. The cost of a five user license comes to about $550. In the end, the total cost for a three year period to host an Exchange in-house comes to about $77,660. Compare this to the cost of using Microsoft Exchange Online, which is $4 per user per month, which comes to about $720 US dollars for three years for five users. Google Apps cost $5 per user per month, which comes to about $900 US dollars for three years. Compare $720 or $900 to $77,000 or more that you are paying for an exchange server in-house. But what if we increase the users to let's say 100 users? You will need two servers to sustain the increase in load and licenses for those 100 users. The total comes to about 89,000 US dollars for 100 users for three years. While using Google Apps costs about $18,000 and using Microsoft Exchange Online costs 14,400. We can come to a conclusion that using cloud services is cheaper and is hassle free. Use case, a startup life records dot in. Now let's take an example of a startup in India. We're going to check out a startup called life records dot in. What this startup does is it stores medical information for you to quickly retrieve it when you need it. It helps you organize your medical history, your prescriptions, medication, dosage, MRI scans, etc. Whenever a doctor prescribes you something, you take a picture and upload it to your account. You can start tracking things like BMI, blood pressure, and cholesterol. It lets you upload files like scanned copies of medical reports to your account. We were consulting for them and we were in charge of the hardware to run their application. So the first question was how many users they want to provision capacity for. They said that they were working on getting an article on some magazine and newspaper. So let's say we start with 10,000 users. So we decided to go with 10,000 users. The next question was how much storage space to give to each user. Around 100 MB is what was decided per user which comes to about capacity of one terabyte storage. So how much will it require to have this storage on premise that is infrastructure, power, security, etc. And you're not going to use the entire one TB storage from day one. It will gradually build to one TB in three years time. Let's say 
we have the storage in S3 instead of a physical server. First month, you are billed less, but as your application storage increases, you are billed more and more. So your three years cost will be summation of the monthly payment. So if you do the math, the total comes up to rupees 150K compared to the rupees 890K we saw before. This is an 87% reduction in cost, which is phenomenal. How analytics companies use the cloud. A lot of analytics companies use big data. Big data is being able to store and process large amounts of data. A lot of analytics companies store their data on the S3 service and processing is done by EC2. Similarly on Google, the data is stored on Google storage and Google compute does the processing. There are also services specifically for analytics like Amazon's Elastic Map Reduce, which is a Hadoop cluster on demand and Azure HD Inside, which is also a Hadoop cluster on demand. In this video, we looked at various cloud use cases and how cloud helps reduce the cost for IT infrastructure. In the next video, we'll look at cloud security.